Hey everyone, I'm trying out a new kind of format for the video. I like standing anyway, and I think it's more chill, like if I'm just standing up talking to you. Got a little problem with the microphone, but we should be okay. So I had this problem where if I uploaded a photo into Lightroom Classic, and then I tried to export that very same photo without making any changes whatsoever, file size would be like five times larger. You know, if I made some changes, I would expect my file size to be a little larger, but definitely not as large as you see here. Initially, I I couldn't find a solution for this problem so I figured I'd share it here so if any of you are looking it up you don't have to figure it out like I did. So the root issue comes from what file type you're exporting in. I've shot photos for years now but I just recently switched over to Fuji and started shooting pay page eggs and started shooting JPEG so I never had this problem because I would always import all my files in RAW and then export in PNG or JPEG and the file sizes would always be significantly smaller because RAW is just such a big file format. It's only when I started shooting JPEGs on the Fuji that I realized that if I transferred it over to PNG that my files would be a lot bigger. If you don't know what you're shooting in, to check your file type or at least in Windows 11 you can always go to view, show, and then show file type in the file explorer or in all windows you can just hold alt and then hit enter on an image. If your file type is JPEG and you're exporting in PNG you're kind of playing yourself. PNG has lossless compression but JPEG does not. So converting your JPEG into PNG is kind of like taking a 4k screenshot of a really pixelated image and then hoping that's going to boost the quality of the picture. It's not really going to do that. So what you need to do to make your file size smaller is change your file type. For me, it was from PNG to JPEG, but for you, it might be instead of exporting from a raw file into PNG, exporting from raw into JPEG. So to change your export file type, just pretend to export a file by hitting shift, control, and E, and then scroll down to the settings. I was shooting in JPEG, so I'm going to change my file type back to JPEG and turn my quality back up to 100. And after I export, you can see that it's a little larger but my file type is the same and most importantly the size is within a few megabytes. Again this really helped me when I was exporting my files because you don't want megabytes of useless data on your hard drive and neither do I. So a little quick fix here. Thank you for watching the video. I have to go get dinner and I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe.